So have you ever liked two candidates so much that you wish you could vote for them both? Have you ever disliked a candidate to the point where you would vote for anyone and everyone else? Well, if so, then approval voting might be for you. Denver 7's Megan Lopez takes it 360. After the events of 2020, some are asking if it's time to change how we conduct elections. Have a dialogue and educate one another about what the implementation of approval voting or rank voting would require in Colorado. In recent months, both the Colorado Secretary of State's office and the city of Denver are considering change. This is a great way to empower voters in Denver. One option is approval voting. Unlike our current plurality voting system where you only pick one candidate or ranked choice voting where you list candidates in order of preference in an approval voting system. You vote or mark your ballot for every single person you agree with that meet your criteria. Once you cast your ballot, think of it like a point system. Candidates get one tally per ballot they're marked on. The person with the most wins. It's one person, one ballot instead of one person, one vote. Blake Huber and Frank Atwood are big proponents of the idea. So much so they've decked out their van to get the message to more people. They say approval voting will give third party candidates a chance, get rid of mudslinging and allow ballots to better reflect voters. In many cases, you're having to switch your vote, which is more electable. Approval voting does away with that. But they admit this type of institutional change can be challenging. It is a novel idea. It requires a paradigm shift. Particularly in a year where election integrity is already a big topic. But initially, it does feel discomforting to see more votes than voters. But the payoff is less frustration and less anger of being railroaded into the lesser of two evils. On the downside, approval voting doesn't have a long history. It's only been attempted in Fargo, North Dakota, and soon St. Louis. And unlike plurality or ranked choice voting. So yeah, it hasn't really have, had an opportunity to, to, to be court tested, I guess. Another difference from ranked choice. In instant runoff voting, candidates are competing to get a majority. That's not true about approval voting. The winner just needs the most votes. And but that has potentially important strategic implications. With the 2020 election behind us, some are already looking toward the future, asking whether alternative voting methods stand a chance in a state that's no stranger to change. Megan Lopez, Denver 7.